Right then, uh, this week's Forza Thon is the B Extraordinary Forza Thon. Uh, Horizon celebrates fine craftsmanship. And you can win 2017 Bentley Continental Super Sport, which is like a new car into Forza Horizon 3. It's, an, it's a new car in general, it's like, can't wait to get it. So let's go and do that first. It's called Blistering Acceleration. We're going to complete the race to win the Bentley Super Sport. So, let's go find us a race. I'll do some more in the town. So with this Forza Thon, if you use the Bentley Continental that's already in the game, the one that you have to buy from the perk shop, you can do all of these without changing your car. But this one has no car requirements, so I'm just going to use this uh, car that we're in now. Uh, the M6. You don't have to win, you just need to complete it. So uh, that's what I tell myself every time I lose. Now let's start this race. And uh, Baba slash Ted's here in the race, not in real life. I don't want to overcook into these cars, the car likes to oversteer. So yeah, there's a car this week and it's the uh, Continental Super Sport. Apparently quickest Bentley they've ever made, they say. They also reckon it's the quickest four-seater production car. I did look it up, I looked up uh, you know, what else would be quick. Like the Ferrari FF replacement, like GT4C Lusso. Apparently that got a top speed of 208 and this new Bentley, 209. Not much in that is there? Oh. Yeah it's a new car, can't wait to get it. All you need to do, complete a race, don't even need to win it. Any car to do it. And uh, that would win as a Bentley. We are going to do Blimey and we need to perform three drift tap skills in a GT car to earn 45,000 XP. I'll quickly show you the cars that you can use and how to figure it out. So if you enter the auto show, we we'll just go on uh, view all cars, uh, press Y to filter and then uh, say GT cars and here's your list of cars that you can use there's also the Bentley Continental that's in the game already and that works for all of these tasks you don't need to change your car right all we need to do for a drift tap is to just tap the wall while we're drifting it's like self-explanatory but the easiest way to do this is you know to get some speed, hit the handbrake like so, but that didn't count that time. So handbrake, which is B on the wheel, and I think it's A on the controller. I mean that'll do. There's one. <laughs> it's a lot easier with the controller. So the reason you use an auto show to do this is because of all these walls. You can't really miss them. That when you miss them, like that. I'll see if I can get one going around here now. There's a drift tap. That was too much. That counted as a drift tap and the front of the car hit it. So it doesn't matter whether you hit with the front or the rear of your car. There you go, there's a drift tap. So yeah, another thing to help you out on this is just turn the assists off, so go into your settings and your difficulty. You want to turn traction control and stability control off. Our next one, tally ho. 
We need to beat a rival in a Bentley to win three wheel spins and then go across to rivals. You want to um, go to your festival routes. So I uh, just pick any of these and just pick a race. It's a nice short track that. Now, you need a Bentley for this. I believe the Continental, the normal one, is here. It's in A class as standard. If you modified it, it's going to be even more powerful. And I think the racing Bentley is S1. But we'll just check. No, it's S2. Yeah, and the GT3 car is an S2 car. So you're gonna need either of them, just buy one off the auction house or get it from the perk shop. That's the only ways of getting them. You can't buy them from the auto show. So uh, just go on the auction house. Let's pick this Continental. Obviously you're gonna be faster on a flying lap. So don't worry if you like a couple of seconds off pace. I'm trusting that line. I made a dog stick out of that corner. I think we might be able to do this first try. There we go. Let's collect our reward and we've beaten a rival in a Bentley. So the last one is time for tea. We need to complete any playground game in a British car to receive 125,000 credits. We're just gonna use that Bentley that we used for that event then. So the quickest way to do a playground game is to uh, enter online, either online free roam or a private session. Go to your online ventures, custom adventure, say games only. And I'm just gonna pick A class because we're in an A class car. And now what we have to hope that somebody's doing these. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into private online free roll. Ted's gonna help me because uh, I struggle to find two matches then. Right, we're now in free roam. We're gonna head over to the games arena. We're gonna invite Ted to our game. If you don't have a Ted, invite whoever's helping you. Right, we're gonna re-invite Ted because he's got that problem. Um, so sometimes there's a problem connecting to your friends that keeps happening and it just, I don't know what it says. Um, but he has to reboot the game from the start. He has to go out, quit the game and reboot it to join my lobby. Don't know why that's a thing, but yeah, that happens. And he's joined straight away, which is nice. So let's enter the event. We want infected. I know I keep saying the wrong one, but right, edit it. Uh, we're gonna make it British cars only, so Rule Britannia. You can make it open class, it doesn't matter about that. Race settings. Turn it all the way down to one minute. Then the most you're gonna have to do is one minute long match. But as soon as you crash into each other, it should end and it should take about 20 seconds. So 
So we'll go on your new event that you've created. Uh, I'm just going to pick that Bentley that we was using earlier. Continental. So yeah, the car that you win from this Forza Thon is basically uh, an updated sportier version of this. It's got a couple more horsepower. It's got like a spoiler and a body kit on it. Alright, let's go tag Ted. Now we've vected, tag the survivors. Now some people have the perk that makes you invisible for a long time and immune to getting uh, tagged. I have it. So it takes longer for me to do this game than somebody that doesn't have that perk. Hey, it's the uh, the Bentley that he used in that race against us. Right, he's now appeared so we can tag him. I'll just, I'll just sit still because we're going around in a circle. There we go. <laughs> That was the longest quick match we've ever done, I think. That. But yeah, that's the quickest way to do a playground game. You can do it that other way, where you go through adventure, custom adventure, games only, but you never know if you're gonna find a match. Or you can just do the same thing that we've done here, but do it in a public lobby and invite everybody else in the session. You seem to get like loads of credits now. <laughs> And there's more XP in this one. I think you normally get like 25,000 XP. That is quite good. Obviously, this is a new Bentley Continental Super Sport, which is the whole point of this Forza Thun, I guess. And I can't wait to use that. So, yeah, thanks for Ted for helping me. And uh, we'll leave it there. That's everything, I think. What do you think we'll end up this time?